Hi Sagittarius, how you been? Um, in this reading we'll have three separate spreads. In the first spread we'll be looking at what you should be aware of right now and it could be about pretty much anything, whatever comes up. Then in the second spread we'll take a look at the advice for the situation we'll be talking about in the first spread and in spread number three we'll see the next good thing that'll happen to you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Here's the first spread, Sagittarius, this is what you should be, be aware of right now. We have the Hangman, clarified by the Tower. Um, we have the Five of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Swords. We have the Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Wands. And we also have Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra on the table. Well, I got some not so good news. For whatever reason, I don't know what you're going to be fighting over with this Queen of Pentacles, but yes, you gotta fight some kind of a conflict coming up between you and this Queen of Pentacles, or perhaps it's already happening. And uh, the Queen of Pentacles is gonna win, okay? It could be a job situation, somebody you work with, it could be, if you run your own business, you could be competing for uh, the same contract or something like that. It could be about love, right? It could be about love. If you've got somebody you're talking to or you, and just starting your uh, to get involved with, uh, then what you need, what you should be aware of is that there's another person involved, right? Then the Queen of Pentacles is the winner, right? Um, yeah, that's what in the nutshell that the, what this that's what this uh, spread is all about. The Queen of Pentacles winning. Okay, so yeah, the Queen of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, or somebody with a lot of Earth in their chart, or this person is uh, like an entrepreneur, somebody who's very grounded. The Queen of Pentacles, right next to the deck, is clarified by the Six of Wands, which is a card of victory. Okay, we also have Justice on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right. It could be literally the legal system for some of you, right? Justice could be like a government organization or it could simply be a, a person who is like being the judge and the jury okay it could be about sports by the way you know everything to the left from the queen of pentacles this is where that fight that conflict that competition uh, is taking place right and uh, it could get a little bit ugly we do have a couple of major iconic cards right uh, the tower one is one of them the tower is either something that happens unexpectedly or the tower is when things fall apart right the five of ones in the middle is a card of a conflict it's a card of a fight it's a card of a competition and things like that so yeah that's uh, that's what I have for you uh, so far Sagittarius but let's take a look at the advice bro, just in case Here's the advice, uh, Sagittarius, for what we saw in the first part. We have the Ten of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Fool. Um, if this hasn't started yet, it's not worth fighting for, that would be the advice. Um, but, um, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles is winning. It's time for you to move on. It's time for you to seek uh, new opportunities. That's what this spread is all about. Yeah, it's not worth fighting for, basically, Sagittarius. And, you know, in, I've never met a Sagittarius who would back down from a fight. <laughs> but uh, it's not one of those fights that uh, should be fight, fought for, right? The, uh, the Ten of Swords, the first card that came out, is a card of an abrupt ending. And uh, the two following cards, the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups, they even kind of look alike, right? In both of them, there is a movement to the right, right? In the Six of Swords, there's a person rowing to the right, and the Eight of Cups, somebody's walking away. We're just looking at the people's backs. Alright, then the, the Fool on the bottom of the deck. Um, it could be an Aries you're dealing with, but the Fool is a card of letting go. You know, it's also a card of a new beginning. If the, you are not getting that job, if you're not getting that promotion, you know, I'm sure you'll find it someplace else. Alright, so unfortunately that's what I have for you. Perhaps the universe has something better for you. Yeah? Now, there is a sun in the, in the right upper corner of the full card. The sun usually brings clarity and happiness. And uh, to me, the person in the full card looks pretty happy. All right, so we're moving on. Spread number three is the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future. Here's the third spread. Uh, Sagittarius, this is the next good thing that will happen to you that will at least put a smile on your face. We have uh, the page of ones, clarified by the knight of ones. Then we have the king of swords, clarified by the ace of cups. Uh, we have the Four of Wands and we have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Well, to be honest with you, <laughs> Sagittarius, this put a huge smile on my face. You are dealing with this King of Swords, kind of in the middle right there. Right? So it could be an Air Sign. 
uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of air in their chart, if they're not an air sign, they could be wearing uniform for work, they could be very smart, intelligent, uh, they could be like a doctor or a lawyer. And uh, what put a smile on my face is that um, I think you're the one who is pursuing them, <laughs> or at least starting a conversation, or showing interest in them. And I think then this King of Swords will take it from there. That's how it feels. All right, because um, uh, we do have the Page of Wands clarified by the Knight of Wands. The, those two cards are your energy all day long. That's you. <laughs> all right, the Page of Wands with the Knight of Wands, definitely you, Sagittarius, right? This is you either reaching out to them or approach the, approaching them, or I think you're going to meet them at some kind of an event, or you may invite them to some kind of an event, right? Speaking of events, the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck, it is that event, whatever that event is. Anything. It could be a Scorpio's birthday, right? We are in. We're starting a Scorpio's birthday season. It could be a party, a gathering of some sort, some kind of a reunion. It could be Oprah. Perhaps there's a new exhibit in your local museum. I, <laughs> anything, right? And again, with the the first two cards, the page ones and the nine ones. This is you pursuing them or showing interest, showing them that yes. Um, I am interested, <laughs> okay? And I think the King of Swords will very, very quickly get on board because they themselves, is, they're clarified by the Ace of Cups. That's how they feel or will feel very quickly, right? The Ace of Cups is all about love, genuine, authentic love. And uh, right next to the deck we have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is often referred to as the 1111 card. It's a card of a commitment, marriage, it's a card of celebration. Um, I, it could be the same event that we were just talking about in the Three of Cups, but for most of you, this is what's going to happen between you and this person, right? And it's not a clarifier, it's it's there. It was the very last card I came out. To me personally, the Four of Wands always reminds me of an actual wedding, right? Because in some cultures, when people get married, they do it underneath this can canopy structure with the leaves and branches on top of it and the, the structure pictured in the four of ones always reminds me of that. And the four of ones is a very stable card. Alright, then it's once, not pentacles, not cups, once. <laughs> you are a fire sign, right? The ones is your uh, sign. So yeah, if you, or rather when you meet this king of swords, I think the universe wants you to show interest and I don't think it's going to be a problem for you Sagittarius. You guys are very active, you guys are very fiery, you guys usually have a good sense of humor, you know, and uh, if you see something you pursue it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just I guess a way of the universe to be a little more comfortable, to show interest and I think they will take it from there. I hope this makes sense uh, Sagittarius, but this looks good. <laughs> This looks really, really good. All right, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Sagittarius, for this reading for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Sagittarius, have an amazing the rest of October.